Welcome to Nine Speed Little Way. This is a six bed student house um, on three score, which is a quiet residential cul-de-sac with plenty of parking and a separate single garage, which is the one on the left with the red car. Although it's residential, it's a popular area with students. And we'll make a way inside. So all the bills are included, including the gardener who comes once a month during the summer and keeps the front and back gardens tidy, mows the lawns, and we'll make our way into the hallway. So the house is configured with two bedrooms downstairs, living room, kitchen, and four bedrooms upstairs. So hardwood floors through the hall, and the first bedroom off to the left. All bedrooms have double beds. Desk and chair. Freestanding wardrobe or built-in wardrobes. And a chest of drawers. Everything else is the tenant's possessions in this bedroom. We we'll make our way back across the downstairs hallway. We have a downstairs cloakroom, sink and toilet. Opposite, we have under stair storage. And then we make our way through to the living room. So, in this property, has a living room with a large conservatory off it. Uh, there is some washing in here at the moment, which is the tenants, but we've got a large dining table. And these two rooms can be configured either way. The living space can be in the conservatory or in the main part of the house, either way. Furniture can be moved around as long as it's all available at the end of the tenancy. So it gives you a view of the garden as well. You've got an enclosed private garden to the rear with some mature trees and low maintenance areas for socialising when the weather's suitable. So moving away back through the living room is the, off the living room is the second downstairs bedroom. Again, desk, chair, chest of drawers, double bed and freestanding wardrobe. So the two downstairs bedrooms, this is the downstairs front left and we've already done the downstairs front right. So moving moving away back through the hallway and upstairs. These houses are just over 10 years old, built to current building regs. Um, so they're nice and warm and feel spacious. Especially if you're spending lots of time in the houses, which is um, more likely now. So we'll move into the upstairs front left bedroom. This one has built-in wardrobes. Desk, double bed, and chest of drawers. And then we'll go clockwise round. So, onto the upstairs back left hand bedroom. Chest of drawers, desk. View out over the back garden and the conservatory. Freestanding wardrobe and double bed. Following around the hall for the upstairs landing, we have the main bathroom, 
toilet, wash basin. heated towel rail and electric power shower over a bath, so choice of bath or shower moving down the hallway upstairs back right hand bedroom chest of drawers Full size double bed, desk, and freestanding wardrobe. And again, a view over the back garden. And returning to the front, so this is the ensuite bedroom. Front upstairs right. Double bed, built in wardrobes, desk, chair, chest of drawers, and then an ensuite in this bedroom with built in sink unit, toilet, and shower cubicle. Again, with a power shower. And then finally we've got, moving back down the stairs, we have the kitchen and rear garden. So we're moving into the kitchen, tile floors, then we have all the units. We've got dishwasher, built-in sink, washer, Plenty of storage units, electric oven and gas hob, which is the ideal combination. Uh, the boiler, gas boiler, the central heating and hot water is in there. Lots of fridge and freezer space, but two full size upright fridge and freezers. And then a second hob as per the HMO requirements which is another four ring induction hob and a splashback. And then moving out finally to the back garden. The raised decking area. And just pan around so the conservatory space. That's it, that's nine Speedwell Way, six bed, student house.